let's get right into this video. So I took my True Match Concealer Stick, and I'm just applying that on my, well, all over my lids, crease, everything. I like this as a base, as a primer. It works for me. Then I'm taking my 35K palette and taking that shade, I believe. Yes, never shade, though. Never. <laughs> God, I've been watching too much Desi and Katie. Oh my god. Alright, then I'm taking my 217 brush from Amazon. It's a dupe for the actual 217, but it actually has the numbers. And I'm just applying that on my crease. And I'm taking this darker cranberry color. And I'm showing you the technique I'm using here, like a V all over my crease. And we're just going to deepen that up. And we already have some definition going on there. So I got a new camera, guys. Um, I hope you guys, hope, hope, what was I gonna say? Hope you guys like it. I really like the quality. It's a little um, it's a little intense. You could see all my um pimples, all my freckles. <laughs> you gotta embrace what you got, right? So then I'm doing the same thing to the other eye. We're doing the same technique, and yeah. And then I'm taking this Real Techniques brush for a darker color, which is Dreamer, in the Tarte palette. Guys, you can definitely substitute these eyeshadows. I've just been really used to working with these eyeshadows for this look, but I'll definitely be having a drugstore makeup look. This is just my go-to, you know, dar a little darker than usual eye look. I like taking this on a Friday night out with friends. Or, you know, just watch Netflix. You know, that works too. And we're just creating this ombre effect going to the lid. And this is how it should look. It looks a little harsh, but remember, blending is key. I also can't wait to film more videos for you guys. Just better quality. And I'm so excited. I've been extremely busy with school, but that's not going to stop me. But then I'm taking this dome brush by Real Techniques and taking Fashionista, which is a pitch black, and just overlaying it. But if you're outgoing and you're like, you know what, I just, I'm going for the black right away, do it. But I like going, as you saw, darker brown, then black. And we're doing the same technique, taking it on the outer lid and crease and then making an ombre and then taking that 217 brush with leftover makeup not makeup but oh yeah it's makeup eyeshadow we had and just blending nothing new we're just gonna blend I'm so excited guys to film new videos for you guys and then I'm taking YDK and chopper and putting that onto my lid. And I want to give a huge thank you to Sierra. She is amazing. She actually gave me this Naked 2 palette and some other single shadows and some coastal palettes. I'll definitely um, inform you guys, you know, when I use them. Like, yo, you know, she gave them to me because it was really cool of her. She's like, dude, I don't use makeup so much. And I was like, oh my god, thank you. That's really cool. And then I was like, fuck it at this point. I'm like, you know what? Pigmentation is better with the finger, and I just, you know, put it on. Then I took Booty Call into my inner corner. That is what it's called. And we're done with the eye look. I'm taking Master Prime by Maybelline, and this makes my skin so soft. And baby skin just fills in my pores. And this 3-in-1 CoverGirl foundation has been the bomb for me lately because it's my perfect shade. I love it so much. And DIY High. Then I took my NYX concealer with my LA Girl concealer. They're just the perfect combo for me right now. And I just blended that out. Then I baked. I, I baked and I was singing and I don't... Mm. Then I took this neutral color from Tarte to just kind of connect the top to the bottom. Then I took my 9C palette by Morphe, which is my love. I hit pan on the second shade, which is the highlight shade. And I was so happy, I was like, I, I love this thing. And then I contour and I do my forehead too. I don't know how I feel about my forehead. I don't think it's too big, but I don't think it's too small. I'm just like, eh, whatever, you know? But I contour it and I am dusting off this baking, baking powder. 
And I'm taking this bomb ass highlighter by by Physicians Formula. It just gives you a really nice warm complexion. And I did do my eyeliner off camera and my mascara, which is the purple one by Maybelline. And I then decided between Pe Beeper and Whirl, but definitely choose whatever lip option you want. I love you guys so much, and I hope you enjoyed this 